This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight, yes, and uh, hello and welcome to the first show of the week and the last show of the week, uh, and I'm a little weak, and uh, we'll explain all that in a couple of minutes here, but uh, we've been off the air this week uh, for most of it uh, uh, because I wasn't ready to do a show, and I'm not totally ready to do one tonight either, but I just felt I had to do a show tonight, so here we are. Um, and uh, if I'm my voice a little rough, it's because I, I have a hoarseness in my voice. And uh, um, uh, uh, we have been overcoming something. But why don't we just go to uh, uh, talk to our old friend here who is, joins us usually once a week. And every night he stood by waiting to see if I was going to do a show. And, well, I didn't. So now it's time to uh, go to him. And... Let me see here. Let me turn him on along with me. There we go. There's Phil Meyer. Hello, Phil. How are you? Hey, welcome to the land of the living. Well, kind of. You know, I really, I, you know, who knows? I mean, I two shows next week. I mean, I'm just, uh, I am just so exhausted. Well, I, I can know? imagine, you know, were, were you coughing and... and Not uh, really. No? No. Um, in case people don't know, Marjorie and I, well, Marjorie came down with COVID on uh, last Sunday. We tested her and she came out positive. Do you, and, but think, I did, she, hmm? do you think she got it from the waiting room? Well, that's what we're thinking at the hospital. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, and, and then I tested myself and I didn't have it. Okay. Then Monday, I was supposed to go see my doctor and I figured before I go see my doctor, maybe I should have a test. And I took another test, and I came out positive for COVID. Wow. So I immediately called my doctor's office, said I couldn't make it, but please have the doctor call me. I need to get a prescription for Paxlovid, which is the or Paxlovid or however it's pronounced. Did, you didn't take it right away, did you? Yes, we did. Oh, you did. Okay. I mean, as soon you as didn't... we found out, as soon as I found out that I had it, and she yeah. had it for a couple of days. I think she took it on about her fifth day. That's about the outside that you can take the thing mm -hmm. and uh but uh, uh you know she was she was coughing and uh, doing all kinds of things and uh oh. we tested her and she came out positive on sunday and i didn't and then monday i did and we suspect that what happened was she got it from sitting in the waiting room at mount sinai yeah i didn't get it from being in the emergency room what happened was we then came home kiss her good night every night whatever right and she gave it to me but it takes me a couple of days to get it after her okay so i'm lagging behind her in the uh, symptoms and so on yeah uh, well, are you still testing positive i haven't you know i'm not going to test myself till monday it's a right. ridiculous test yourself till you're through taking the paxlovid now paxlovid or paxlovid or paxlovid or that so Jerry say it like Jerry Lewis, please. Yeah, Pax love it. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, uh, it is, uh, it's a drug that you take that is basically, it's very, it's very good for people who aren't vaccinated, who come down mm -hmm. with the symptoms and don't want it to come on full bore. And so they take this, and it's another drug by, uh, uh, what's it, not, not uh, Moderna, the other one. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Pfizer. Pfizer. Yeah. And uh, you take it, and it supposedly keeps you from coming down with a full-blown case of it. And so we took it because, well, we're older, and we wanted it. So the doctor let us gave us a prescription for it, and we took it. It's five days. We have one more pill left tomorrow morning. Yeah. Uh, and then we will be finished with the course. And it seems to, I see, I don't know, people say, does it work? And I went, I don't know. 
because I don't know how bad this would have gotten uh, had I had I not taken it. Now, yeah. my old landlord at the store yeah. uh, and I and uh, a guy that works for me uh, went to Monterey over the weekend mm -hmm. and we photographed whales. Yeah. Uh, my landlord had COVID and uh, he eventually, uh, in the last couple of weeks, the COVID went away. Then he got it again. Mm -hmm. And um, what they gave him the Paxlovid Mm -hmm. And he said that uh, really all it did was curtail some of the symptoms, but it didn't uh, get rid of the COVID. So it, it allowed him to be more comfortable, but uh, not, uh, well, not what, COVID what, well, what the Paxlovid supposedly does is it, it, it prevents you from getting a full-born case of it. Right. See, he you, was, don't, he was, you don't know um, if you didn't take the stuff how bad it would have gotten. Right. Okay. With us, it was probably we would have had a really bad cold and we would have been uncomfortable and whatever. But if we can mm -hmm. avoid that, take this other stuff. But the, the side effects of this is is that you can't sleep very well at night. Marjorie's had a hard yeah. time sleeping. And uh, I, I got a sore throat for a couple of nights. But I'm okay now, but I've just been lightheaded all day. And I every time I take the pill, I get lightheaded again. Yeah. And I well, just took it. I just, I just took it a couple hours ago. Yeah, uh, it so, could be one of the side effects. Yeah. You know, you never know. But anyway, so uh, I've been feeling weak, uh, and um, I didn't want to do any shows, and right. I, I would have done, uh, you know, shows if I'd felt more uh, strong, and mm -hmm. I may take time off next week. I mean, if I'm not feeling a hundred percent, you know. Sure. But well. The, you know, I, I know that there's a ton of things that have been going on in the news. Yeah, well, I, but, don't, I don't want to get into those yet. Uh, I, I wanted to, uh, first of all, I have two segments here. One is Phil's Medical Minute. And I have come to the conclusion mm -hmm. that tuna tartare causes COVID. Oh, okay. And, all right. Yeah. Good. It, that, you know, it's another it, it thing. We, it's another thing we can blame on the tuna tartare. Exactly. Uh, in case people don't know what we're talking about. Let me turn up the air conditioner a little bit. Uh, in, in case you don't know what we're talking about, I uh, I had a, a bad case of of uh, food poisoning, food poisoning right? which we think I got from tuna tartare, right. which then sent me to the hospital where Marjorie sat in, sat in the emergency room, got COVID. I was in emergency. I don't think that's where I got the COVID. We then go home, and of course she comes down with COVID, and you know, so twenty thousand dollars, which it'll probably cost for that visit to the uh, to the uh, emergency. Was it twenty? I, I thought it was fifty, but uh, I think it'll be twenty. Uh, All right. Well, we'll have to we'll have 50's, to name that price. Fifty's <laughs> over overstating it. I'll, I'll okay. let you all know how much it is. But I'll tell you what happens when you go to the uh, store, and I can't remember what I went to go buy. Uh, this was prior to the uh, episode. Episode the uh, COVID. Uh, I went to CVS. Yeah. Okay. To get, uh, I can't remember what it was exactly I bought. Let me see here. It should say here. Depends. Okay. No, no. <laughs> um, oh, oh I, yeah. I went and got a uh, uh, COVID test, bought a COVID test because yeah. I just want to have a few more around the house, you know. Uh, so here's my receipt right here. See? And CVS, then, right? yeah. And then. How long is it? <laughs> Look at that. What if you want one of the coupons in the middle? It's a yard long, at, if at least. See yeah. How, see how long it is? Yeah, I'll try yeah, it. yeah, I do. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. You know how many trees uh, had to be chopped down to give you that receipt for stuff that you're never going to buy? Yeah, right. Yeah. What, what kind of things uh, are they giving you a discount on? I, oh, I, I read them before I, on other shows. Oh, okay. But it, 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 it was... Yeah, it was stuff tampons. Yeah, tampons. I could. Well, you can't, can't get tampons. Yeah, you know, they're you. not available uh, on the about. shelf I'll, right I'll, now. I'll tell you what's offering me. Okay, to begin with, I want you to see here that the. Uh, let me see here. Let me I'll, I'll open this up again. The actual receipt for the actual thing was this. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
Let's see here. Uh, let me put on some glasses. Do, 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 do. Let me see here. Hey, only five, do, do. Oh, cough drops. I know. Hey, I need cough drops. I mean, I'm taking. Yeah. What'd one you get? Drops. Ricola? Yeah. No, no, I get uh, Halls. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the Halls Brothers? But this is for Ricola. Yeah. $2 off reading glasses. All right. Okay. $4 off baby care. I like, I need that. You need that. Yeah. Um, three dollars off tampons or pads or liners. Hmm. Uh, two dollars off liners. of toothpaste, toothbrushes, mouthwash, whitening pen. Okay. Five dollars off allergy relief. Four dollars off an acid and probiotic heartburn or stomach remedy. Hmm. Uh, Five dollars off Neutrogena facial care. Gotta have that. Uh, Pantene hair care, three dollars off. That's one that you're going to use every day. Yeah, two fifty off <laughs> for. Uh, let me see, CVS Health brand floss picks or interdental brushes. I and, like those. And two two dollars off CVS Health brand brand dental floss. Well, you got to have good. Uh, I, I will do this care. again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, you know. I listened to your Monday show. Yeah. And it's, I thought it was the night nice show. I thought it was a safe place. What but do you mean? It's a nice the, show. the hot chick said, I want to punch him too. You know, uh, talking about me. Well, wait a minute. To begin with, begin with, you don't call that woman a hot chick. She is a very attractive woman. That's the hot chick. But calling well, her a hot chick is very sexist. Well, get, having her threaten to punch me that's, is not so good that, either. That's Mandy. Yeah. Was that Mandy? Yeah, it was yeah, Mandy. Yeah, it's Mandy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I always thought she I, was. Listen, I feel like punching you every now and then. <laughs> you know? Yeah, she, you know, she would reach right through that screen and no, give me you, a good you, one. You gotta, you gotta admit that everybody on that show gets along very nicely. Yeah, uh, yeah, because they all want to kill the Republican. <laughs> so. uh, by the way, how do you like my background now? Uh, well, it's different because this. Well, you, it's the same actually. Well, it's actually a different. It, it's it's different in that I went through Photoshop and I made the background, oh, the windows. Oh, okay. The windows show you, you did the windows. More. Windows show a little more. Okay. All right. And uh, over here, I took uh, off the TV set. Wait a minute, I get it. I, I can't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I see it up there. No, I go. The, oh, I go that way. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, that used to have a reflection on it. I took the reflection off of it, and then if you look right over here, there's Miami. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah. So. Very nice. Now, I was thinking about what you asked me the other day, and I said, well, if you took a picture of the room, the windows at, with the lights off, you wouldn't have a reflection. Then you take a picture of the room with the lights on, with the camera in the exact same spot. Yeah. And then you layer. The windows. But that, that would mean I'd have to have a tripod. Well, either that or something to support the camera. Well, to support the camera, i.e., I, I, a tripod. Yeah. Um, and uh, I can't. I don't have one, and I can't do that. So well, you I, have, I, I did the you, second best thing. I took the photograph, and then I enhanced those windows. You, mean you don't have one. You have a gimbal. Uh, you know, one of those things you walk but, around but, with. But but it's not going to take the same exact shot, Phil. It's unless you have it on a tripod. Yeah. Okay. See, if I took one with the lights on, one with the lights off, and then I would have fused the two together. Yes, right. that makes sense, but I don't have a tripod for the phone, so I can't do it. So, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, because they have those gorilla pods and things like that, and, you yeah. know, they, they make it easy to, to sit and watch. But, yeah. hey, you know, Mondays aren't safe for the old Phil. You know, uh, I, I can't, if I watch that show, I'm going to get threatened. And, and, uh, and, and, and I'm a sensitive guy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. But uh, I wonder why my lips are so red, and I realize I'm sucking on a uh, throat lozenge. Oh, I, I thought it was from all the discounted Another Jerry uh, Lewis dental gear. Word. Another Jerry I, Lewis word. Lozenge. Yeah, I thought it was from the discounted dental gear that you got at CVS yeah. uh, with your coupons. But anyway, so so that so we we really we've had uh, COVID, and uh, we've been 
settling down. I mean, some days we slept all day, uh, but basically we never. I never. I never came down with it beyond just a cough. Okay. Well, yeah. You know. So, but I've been tired and I've been exhausted. And right now, if I if we turn the lights off, I'd probably go to sleep. You know. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, but I we we were so smug, you know. We were so smug. Oh yeah. We you had, didn't get COVID. But no, because we you had were managed, immune. We had managed to go two and a half years without getting COVID. Now, can you think about? You used to get packages, leave them outside, scour them with cleanser uh, yeah. before you'd bring them into the house. Right. You know, we went through all of this stuff. I guess maybe the strains are different. You know, the initial strain. I went strain. through everything humanly possible to keep from getting it. We were so smug about the fact that we had avoided it. But nobody counted on the fact that one morning I would, like, start throwing up and pass out in the bathroom and have to be taken to the emergency room yeah. with an ambulance and that, that that was where I could get COVID. Well, you know. I, I I had a, a woman come into the store a couple of days ago, yeah. and uh, she's coughing, and she's sneezing. She's turning away from me. And, you know, I said, and, and her nose is, is stuffed. I said, are you sick? And she said, well, I had COVID last week, but I'm negative now. And so I said to her, uh, I lost this sale. I said, thanks for wearing a mask. And I said, excuse me a minute, I'm going to go get mine. And uh, she was very apologetic, but I'm sure she's not going to buy from me. <laughs> well, well, we, <laughs> you know? we, whenever somebody comes to the door to deliver something and we have to open up the door for them, we, uh, yeah. we you know, put on our masks. Uh, because well, I, we, we, I, have, we, we have to keep using masks for 12 days, is, uh, for 10 days, for well, 10 days. I thought what she did was extremely selfish. You know, because I said to her, I said, you know, I, I had cancer. I had seven weeks of radiation. I said, uh, you know, you, you should have worn a mask or at least told me earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, some people just don't have any consideration yeah. for their fellow man. Well, I mean, I wear a mask because I could give COVID to other people now. Yeah. And even when I test negative for it, uh, I, I, you got to go 10 days continuing to wear a mask. You can leave the house. You don't have yeah. to stay at home for more than uh, the first five days, I think. But 10 yeah. days is the amount of time you have to keep wearing a mask outdoors so that you don't give it to other people. Well, luckily, yeah. I kept my distance and uh, she didn't sneeze at me, but I, I wasn't uh, very happy. However, we're it. thinking of making an exception. Let me explain something to you. Marjorie's yeah. uh, Apple Watch, her yeah. battery went, was going bad. It was not charging as much as it should. So we took it down to the Apple store and we asked them and they checked it out and they said, yeah, the battery is losing its, its zest, as it were. You need a new battery in there. So leave it off here. We will call you uh, when it comes back in, which will be seven to 10 days. Well, two days later, they get it back. But by now, Marjorie has COVID. Right. Okay. So. It's, they say, uh, if you don't think you're going to be able to make it on time, you know, before about five days, uh, call this number and let us know. So she Why calls. Can't ship it to you. Wait a minute. They won't. No. Okay, but let me finish what I'm saying. Let me finish mm -hmm. telling the story. So then they, it, she, she calls the Apple store. It's their, their repair department or the department that handles that thing. Mm -hmm. And there's no answer. COVID. <laughs> she rings it for like 10 minutes. It keeps ringing and ringing and ringing. Nobody picks up. So now she calls another number, which is their Houston number or something, and says, I can't get a hold of them at, at this store, at this particular store, to tell them that I have COVID and I can't have, or I'm sick and I can't pick it up for about a week. So they, they, these guys call them. And they can't get a hold of the Apple store. This is Apple trying to get a hold of the Apple store. Wow. I Smash mean, and grab? No, what kind of a company is this where you can't get a hold? They said, call this number and let us know if you can't make it in the next couple of days. And she, she can't get to them. So no voicemail either. Yeah. So we're going to go down on Monday. And it, or Monday or Tuesday and get her watch okay and then blow in their faces and leave 
<laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I you know, understand. I mean, what is this with Apple? I mean, come on. You, you answer your goddamn phone. This, this is happening everywhere. Employers but they gave are her a number. They gave her, they gave her a number to call. Yeah, well, what I'm surprised is that the number didn't have an answering uh, machine or, you know, a voicemail. Right. Uh, so that you could leave a message. Uh, so, But you know, everybody is shorthanded, and I guess Apple is no exception. Yeah. You know yeah. what's happening now? Mm -hmm. is uh you know where danville is uh, uh it's it's just south of walnut creek yeah uh day before yesterday mm -hmm. two women are shopping mm -hmm. they they come home they are driving in a bentley they have a bentley and uh, uh four people followed them and pulled out a gun when they got to their home location and uh tr and tried to rob them of their jewelry purchases mm -hmm. and whatever else they could get the neighbor saw what was going on came out with his gun and they were shooting at one another nobody hit anybody and uh the four perpetrators left uh and were not apprehended this is a similar crime as to what's going on in los angeles they're doing these people they're following people out of restaurants if they're driving a nice car or they're wearing a rolex or anything like that mm -hmm. this is the new crime that's happening on the street and uh i don't know if they're going for apple watches but they you know they're certainly mm -hmm. going for uh, you know better jewelry well let's uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are listening right now and going oh yeah sure you're talking about this and you're talking about that there's important well, news out there. Okay. Well, there's also, uh, when we let them in, there's Roe versus Wade. Well, they, I don't. Uh, nobody's calling, so I don't know how long, oh, I don't know how, okay. how long I'm going to last. Okay. All right. There's the New York Rifle and Pistol. And then there is uh, Stephen Colbert uh, attacking Congress. Uh, he sent in a, a group of insurgents. No, no, and, he didn't uh, attack Congress. Well, yeah, no, he, they were no, banging no, on the no, doors of the Republicans. They, no, 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 no. You see, you get stories all wrong. Yeah, Bill. yeah. Well, no, no. They were banging on the doors. They no, were hanging no, out no, after no, hours. No, no, no. Let me let me explain this to you, all right. in case you you don't understand this sort of thing. Okay. Uh, uh, to begin with, he had sent down. He was doing a bit that Conan had done for years with the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the insult comic dog. I can't remember his name now. Yeah. And, and they, it's a hand puppet. It's a guy who insults everybody with the hand puppet. Okay. It's like the guy between two ferns. No. Well, no. no he nothing, insults nothing like that. No? No. No. It's a hand puppet. And he goes, you know, says things about people. He has a cigar. He's supposed to, I don't know. I don't find it particularly funny. Okay. Triumph the insult comic dog. That's it. So, uh... Uh, Colbert, since he says, well, Conan isn't on anymore, I may as well use him. So he stole his bit? So, no, he didn't steal his bit. He just decided to do, you know, take take his bit, you know, take the guy, take a guy by the name of uh, Schmeig, Smeigel, who does this, and mm -hmm. uh, send uh, Triumph the Insult Comic Dog down to, the, down to, I don't think it was the Capitol, I think it was another building. Uh, and he got permission. They got permission, all of that, you know, because CBS doesn't let you do this stuff unless you get permission and, you know, you're playing by the rules and so on. So they did it. And uh, they were there for about two days doing a lot of uh, things with the insult comic dog insulting, you know, politicians and so on and so forth. Well, on the last day they were there, somebody complained. I might have been Marjorie Taylor Greene or some numbskull like that and complained about it. And so the Capitol Police showed up and took them off to their office. They didn't arrest them or anything else, and they said, oh, we have these permits and everything. They said, oh, that's... It was earlier in the day. Yeah, they, they said, uh, here, here, here's our per permits and everything. They checked it all out, and they said, oh, you're okay, and that was it. So now, what's Fox reporting? That, that the Colbert's people got arrested at the Capitol for for for, for for doing what no, no more than what the rioters were doing i mean That's come correct. on come on <laughs> two entirely different sets of things one is a comedy bit with a puppet 
uh, that you got an okay to do from the Capitol, okay? And, uh, uh, and, and see, but it's because you read what Fox said, and yeah. that was not true. It was not true. They had permission, well, and they simply showed the permission, and they were let go, you know. Well, so uh, if the rioters on January 6th had puppets, they would have gotten let That's go. That's correct. And permits. <laughs> and permits, <laughs> Phil. Yeah, a permit for a puppet, you know. Hello. And, and permits. <laughs> but no, otherwise, there was no, there was no problem. Yeah. So uh, I understand on the uh, Roe versus Wade thing that there's a uh, uh, there's protests in New York, uh, but they're kind of midtown. Uh, this Jane's Revenge, uh, Jane's. Yeah. Jane's Revenge, the Day of Rage. Mm -hmm. uh, they're supposed to be having. Can uh, Had you seen anything or heard anything? I know you're not going outside. No, I'm not going outside. I, I saw quickly some TV of, of New York. There were some demonstrations. It looked like they were doing it in Washington Square Park. That's what it looked like to me. Oh, really? Because, yeah, I thought they said uh, it was near the Fox headquarters around uh, 7th Avenue and 48th or somewhere in that area no, that's where, where, right, where they where right. they were about a half hour ago they may be you know yeah well i mean people are outraged and uh, they have a right to protest we certainly have not given up that right although the supreme court will probably do something about that time. soon give, yeah the supreme court time. will probably do something about that soon yeah uh, yeah uh, it it uh you know i mean it uh, a lot of people a lot of people very upset by this not a lot of people millions of people are upset by this and um it may turn out to be the worst thing that's happened to you republicans because what it's going to do is it's probably going to to rally the left wing to go out and vote in november for well, it it really sounds like uh biden is talking about court packing not that he's coming right out and saying it but I think that that's his plan to you, 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 try to change well, the... Well, I mean, uh, in a way, isn't that what Trump did, was court pack? No, because there were still nine justices. He just appointed... All I'm, saying, all I'm saying is that when you've got a Supreme Court that is uh, uh, biased, absolutely yeah. biased in their, in their judgment. I mean, to begin with, okay, I think... Okay, you want my opinion? I think that the Supreme Court justices, these are three that Trump put into, into onto the court. Thank God he did. It should be, um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, you want to get rid of them. Well, they should be what you did to what we did to Trump. They should be. Uh, yeah, uh, see, I, my mind. I'm, I'm screwed up here, folks, yeah. because of my well. COVID. Uh, now, oh well, wait a minute. It, Let me finish what I'm saying. Is this about Starry Decisis. What? Uh, uh, stare decisis, which is the Latin for precedent. I Each have no, those... I have no idea what you're talking about, and that's okay. not what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. And you just made yourself try to make yourself look good. No, each, each. Well, look, I'm being neutral here. Each can, each uh, justice said in the interviews or uh, to uh, that to Senate uh, that they they would uphold precedent okay. on Roe versus Wade. Here's that's, what I here's what I'm decisive. saying here's what I'm saying they should do to the justices, these three justices. They should impeach them. And here's oh, why. Oh, Let I me explain. Let me explain why. Each and every one of them lied to Congress. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Well they lied to Congress and by lying to Congress they committed a crime. Well uh, did they actually say yes. we would not yes. overturn it? Yes. They, when they asked them how they felt about it, they said this is set precedent. Uh, it, ha it will stay the way it is. Blah, well, that's blah. what starry, starry decisis means. Yeah. So, uh, uh, it, but then they went and they did exactly the opposite. Well, when they said that, they were lying to Congress. They didn't believe that. But they also said that, you know, if, if there was a case that came up, that they didn't want to be in a position where no, they, they didn't all hand. say that. They didn't all say that. When asked about Roe versus Wade, they said that this is precedent, and they felt that it had to stand. That's what they said. Yes, I saw them today. Although they, they, there were they showed, three, they showed a one cut after another of uh, what's her name and the two guys, uh, yeah. Gorsuch and and Barrett. And, uh, yeah. And yeah. Kavanaugh. And Kavanaugh. Uh, but there were three other, of two other justices that voted 
uh, for uh, uh, having yeah. Roe versus yeah, Wade. They, 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 they were never, I don't know if they were ever asked about that. If they had been, I'm sure they would have been part of this montage, as it were. Also, mm -hmm. isn't it interesting that the guy we consider a big conservative on the court, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Yeah, he went the other way. He went the other way. Uh, yeah. I, I think he's the wild card now. You know, mm. he's the wild card. And I think that he is a true jurist, a true constitutionalist, who just believes that, you know, this has been law for the last 50 years. You don't make a law. You don't make a, 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 a law and then reverse it. it. I don't think it's ever been done with the no, Supreme I, Court. No, I believe it has been done. And when? Uh, when? Gone, when? I, 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 you're going to have to ask Josh because that's I'm not versed on it past the point that I talked about. But... Um, uh, the uh, the other uh, uh, thing that was handed down was the New York Rifle and Pistol Association, and that has put a big smile on my face. Well, you can put a big smile on your face. What's going to happen is the governor is going to pass, or the state is going to pass yet another law making guns illegal in a certain situation. They'll just reword it, and then it will take another 10 years to go through well, the Supreme Court. Yeah, they're, they're probably going to ban bullets. Uh, well, you know, they, well they're gonna, they, they will. They can do any number of things because no matter what they do, they can violate the Supreme Court ruling, and it doesn't matter. It still has to go back to the Supreme Court to be argued. Well, then maybe those people will be. Uh, no, uh, no. But uh, all, I, all I'm saying is, I say impeach these guys. I really, I mean, because they lied to I, Congress. I, I am. They lied uh, to Congress in order to get their jobs. Well, they. They said what they felt at the time. Well, and, no, that's uh, not that's not an excuse. They lied to Congress because they didn't, well, in their heart of hearts, believe that. But they they had to uh, rule on a case that was presented before them, and that they were case asked, was not. It, it, they were asked about Roe versus Wade, and do you have any intention of getting rid of it? And they said all of them to a person well, said they felt that it was case law. It was fifty years old. It really shouldn't be overturned. But they didn't overturn it. What they did was they sent it back to the states. No, they, they overturned it. Let they the states essentially, decide. Anybody that wants an abortion can get an abortion. No, they can't. No, yeah. they can't. If they, if they may not be able to get it in a poor, certain if state. If they're poor and they can't travel out of state, they're going to have to have that kid or they're going to have to use a coat hanger. Well, that, I, that's those are the scare tactics that are being well, used. Well, that isn't scare tactics, Phil. That's the way it was when I was growing up. You heard about kids dying all the time in my school who tried to abort their kids with a coat hanger, okay? Yeah. Yeah, that happened well, all the time, Phil. And I remember as a kid whose girlfriend got pregnant, we were considering what to do. And we actually went down to, um, well, first we were gonna get married, then we looked into abortions. Uh, and eventually, Go to the dry cleaners? eventually, she told her parents, and her parents made it so I couldn't see her, and so mm -hmm. she went off, had the baby, and whatever. But yeah. you know, it was a, a tragic situation. And had she been able to terminate it, say with a morning after pill, if there was such a thing at the time, and the morning after pill pill is not legal, okay, under these uh -huh. under this current law. Uh, I understood that they're you know, making it illegal. Nothing else, no, other no, than wrong, wrong, state. wrong. They, the fact is that if a state wants to say uh, no uh, after morning pill, uh, that they, they can do that, and they have done that in several states. Well, I, I have heard to the, I have heard differently. Well, I know, but you always hear wrong. Uh, no, I hear the truth on Fox. Well, let me let me add some people to this uh, oh, right. to this group. I didn't put I, your, I, uh, I, I didn't you know, put your name. I, do I have to get a uh, some boxing gloves or something for Mandy? Is she going to hit me? No, I, uh, I, for, I forgot to put your name up. So let me do it fast. All right. Okay, and uh, let me see here, and then get rid of it. There we go. I just okay. wanted to. <clears throat> I forgot to do that tonight. He's out of here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you know what Tony got me? For my birthday? Oh, it's your birthday, by the way. Yeah, let today. Me, let me mention something to you. Marjorie tried to write you on Facebook a happy birthday, but she couldn't because you are not allowing her to write you messages. I think you. I don't allow anyone. 
You don't allow anyone to write you messages? Yeah, but they can write me on Messenger. No, she can't. No? No, you better change that. Oh, I get, I, I've been getting, I be, must have gotten a hundred of them there's something, Messenger. There's something different about your Messenger thing because it's got a little funny thing on it that oh, uh, I'll, I'll I can't, I can't I do a why. thumbs up or anything like that with it. Really? But yes, right. Oh, okay, because, uh, you know, I'm... But anyway, that's usually she said, how I communicate. Despite, despite, despite the fact that I find him despicable, wish him a happy birthday for me. So. <laughs> Thank you, Marjorie. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. very kind of her. Okay, let me see here. We only have two people trying to get oh, on tonight. Oh, you know, tonight. there's uh, one other person that... Uh, who's the guy who lives in Naples, Florida? That's... Uh, um, uh, that's a, uh, 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 oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> my mind's, such, my mind's so, such a blank tonight. Yeah, he's got the big eyebrows. Yeah. Dark, let's let's see your whole black. face, Jeff. Let's see your whole face. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, that guy's birthday is today too. Oh, okay. All right. I'll, I'll remember his name before the show's over. I'm yeah. just out of it, you know. Yes, uh, I, Alan. I, I think it is. Uh, so would you take funny. that? Would you take that, Doctor Allen, off? I didn't put it up there. That doctor. How do you get it off? Just go ahead and change it for me. Please. I'm not going to no, change can't. it because uh, you, Alan I, has. I, I can change it. But it'll yeah. go right back to Dr. Allen next time we sign off. I don't know how to do it then. I'll, I'll tell you later, Allen. Okay. Sorry. See. So re I didn't want to talk about doctor stuff because I'm not a doctor, but I think it's I think it's. Uh, but you play one on TV. Hypocritical <laughs> that that Phil has. I, first of all, I think it's sad that if Phil has a customer come in the store and start coughing, very inconsiderate, very rude. But it wasn't rude or inconsiderate when Trump did it while he was president and held these rallies without people wearing masks when we knew the masks were protective. Alan, he didn't do it to me. Good point. Uh, I, why didn't you just take out your gun and shoot that customer? I mean, what the hell? Well, I hadn't run her credit card yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gosh, so. Well, anyway. <laughs> That's a good line. So I, I guess I go off. I get COVID. I get all get off for a couple of nights. I guess you know. And now now nobody's calling. You're well, like the a only way you, to let Phil get on the show this week. The only way you get a break, Alex, is to go to the hospital. Wait a minute! I didn't go to the hospital. Well, last week, you know. Uh, well, I got that's, all. That's, I got uh, that. That happened, and then this happened. Uh, the COVID yeah. thing. I mean, I almost didn't do a show tonight because I'm still not well, 100%. well not a hundred percent you know the scary thing about covid right now what i read is that after you get over it you can get it again oh yeah right. yeah i know several people the, that's happened the, yeah well the the latest versions of covid according to the news um are bypassing most of the immunity from prior infections and vaccines right now so i'll be right back they're bypassing it uh, meaning, meaning that they're not, the the vaccines are not doing very good at preventing people from getting COVID. Well, yeah, but what they're priority. getting is not strong. Well, what they're what the, yeah, what the, what the, what the vaccines are doing is preventing uh, hospitalization and or death in most people. You know, in San Francisco, their positivity rate is, according to their site, thirteen percent. And during the the worst time, which was when Omicron hit in january and february it was 18 percent. so that's how bad it is mm -hmm. but they've only got 81 people in all the hospitals in san francisco hospitalized for suspected or actual tested COVID. yeah, yeah. 81 people yeah. instead of thousands of people so this is not as deadly and especially if you're vaccinated and boosted which san francisco is about 88 percent from kids on up you know so yeah. but well. People you know, are still getting whatever. Cases. You, you know, I, I mean, I, um, uh, they say that say that with this Paxlovid, you can actually get a rebound. It's it's a small rebound. It's very, 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 very rare. Very rare very, and a very light very rebound. Rare. But I'll blow, but man. I'm glad we got the Paxlovid. Oh, uh, I, I don't absolutely. I don't know if you can take it again. You know, I'm sure you can. You can. You can. Okay. Yeah. Everything I heard. says so. Hey, did you see what Tony got me for my birthday? It showed up today. Yeah. Oh, God. Tony sent that to me. 
Okay. Save America again. He didn't save it the first time. <laughs> yeah. Well, he didn't get it right the first time. Who is B? B E E. Well, let's see here. Oh, it could be uh, the guy in um, in Asia. Um, no, no. Or it could, could be B3? the bathtub. No, uh, let's see who B is. I may have to get. Guy. I may have to get rid of him. Uh, yeah. If it's the guy in Asia, he's a very nice guy. What? I, 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 the guy in Singapore. No, he's he's an asshole. Um, uh, I like him. Uh, B, <laughs> are you there, B? Okay. Uh, Oh, yeah, and yeah, that, well, a, a, I think they um, will be because they were muted and now they're not. Really hard. Know, as you here, can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Turn, turn on your uh, camera. No. Uh, just a minute. Be oh, just a minute. Okay. Turn on your camera. Are you going to turn on your camera? Are you going to turn it on or do I have to get it? Oh, there, you go. Oh, there he is. There is huh? It's Bree, the asshole. Hi, Bree. I like Bree. Right. Come on. <laughs> yeah, me and Phil. We're all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, 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 you, you, it, but it said it B. It didn't say breathe. Oh, right. It's early. He's only I, a PhD. He's, he doesn't have to know how to spell. <laughs> where, where are you these days, by the way? Uh, just back from a bunch of different places, but I'm in Malaysia. Are you again. back in Malaysia again? Okay. How, how's, how did the COVID do in Malaysia? Was it? Yeah, it's around, you know. Yeah. It's around, yeah. um, but uh, everybody wears their masks here rather, you know, religiously. Uh, everybody wears a mask. It's just extremely common. Good. Even Good. outdoors when it's not, it's not required, but everybody does it. I say 95%. Well, Asian mm -hmm. countries seem to have been, have been into wearing masks when they were ill. I mean, in China, if you, if you got sick, you wore a mask, you know, so. I remember early on, before it really hit here, Bree was taking a bus from one place to another, and he was deathly ill take, uh, on that bus ride. Do you think you had COVID at that point? It was in, um, uh, somewhere you were going from one country to another. Yes. Well, actually, yeah, I was. Uh, I went from Malaysia to Singapore. Um, right. But I, by that point, it was sort of over. I. It was 20, um, December of 2019, in t or no, December, tw I can't remember. Yeah, December 2019 to January 2020, uh, when I was really sick and I was traveling between Thailand and Singapore and uh, yeah. So I, that's when I think I may have had it. Yeah, uh, yeah. But it's funny, but didn't we, didn't we used time. to believe that having COVID, you get COVID and at least you get an immunity out of it after you're finished? And this is not proved to be true any longer. That's right. Not not with this variant. Or That's or is it sure. that it's it's a different variant that you then get? Like you get Omicron, yeah. but then you get Bobicron or something. You know. Well, Please even the the common flu, right? I mean, every year, yeah. you you have to get a different type of a shot. Um, so I think that that's that's what we're looking at. Yeah. Hello, Matt. How are you? Hey, Alex. Okay. Good. And, and Jason. Hello, Jason. It's going. Yeah. I was to say that's a, isn't that what the science has been showing? But the difference between getting the vaccine and actually getting sick is the vaccine covers you for longer and more variants, and getting sick by the variant well, covers I, you. I, for I that think variant. It's, I think it's really more being deadly. You know, right. I can't the say vaccine is protecting. I can't oh, say definitely. that what I From had. Death and I, I don't know without the uh, a Paxlovid how bad this would have gotten. Yeah. But it, the worst it got was not terrible, okay, when, before we started taking the Paxlovid. When I called you last, it was on one of your Monday shows. I had actually just gotten back from a Washington, D.C. trip with my kid. Yeah. And I had actually, I had COVID at that point. And, uh, you know, to me, it was just like, I felt like I had, you know, like what other people describe allergies, like getting congested and coughing a little bit, mm -hmm. just figuring it's drainage, coughing mm -hmm. and... But I'm like, I don't get allergies, so I better test. So I tested myself, and sure enough, I had COVID. So, but and how I bad? And just I give it to the. I had the vaccine. I had my booster, and it was good. And how bad did it get? Not the, like I said. It was. I thought like what other people describe allergies are. I, yeah. That's all. I thought yeah. I had. So the, wor the worst that happened to me is I got uh, 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 to be in the little cough. 
still have it, a little cough, mm-hmm. but nothing, nothing mm-hmm. hacking where I, you know, where I'm going for a while. Right now, my throat, exerting my throat and talking, it's a little rough here. But what happened was, is that one night I sweated like crazy. Well, you had the sweats? I had the night sweats myself. Yeah, I had the, <laughs> had the night sweats. But, yeah. but, but Tony, <laughs> I did have that. Uh, uh, I had to take your shirt off in the middle of it. Yeah. I just went through it. Um, uh, but we, um, uh, it, it uh, you know, the, and, and I had uh, what, a, a little bit of a cold and whatever. And then we called the doctor that morning when I found out that I was infectious. Mm-hmm. And uh, we got the Paxlovid. And, and so I can't tell you how bad it would have gotten had I yeah. not gotten the Paxlovid. I don't that, that's know. why I'm calling in, Alex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah, because we just don't know how it will go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. how's Marjorie doing today? Marjorie's fine. You know, she's been a little. The trouble is, uh, she's reacting a bit worse to this uh, Paxlovid than I am. It puts a metallic taste in your mouth. Okay, that I have that right now because we just took it a couple hours. I thought ago. the COVID. I did get that with echinacea. No, COVID makes you lose taste. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, then. She uh, uh, she's been a little sick to her stomach, you know. And, Is she pregnant? Uh, Maybe it's more than it could be. Could be pregnancy, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, so I mean, that's that's what uh, what you know what she's been mm-hmm. going through. Uh, Is that a but, Is that a pill, Alex? Paxlovid. It's, pill? it's actually two, yeah. two pills. If yeah. two times a day, in my case, two pills. It's usually three pills. But my doctor told me to he gave me the renal version. I think they called it because when I you're think I was called the anal version. You no, know, the suppository. <laughs> he had a suppository. When you're when you're it when, tastes like shit. <laughs> when you're when you're uh, uh, older like I am, and I've had like kidney stones and things like that, they give you a, a different version, which is a lighter version, but it's still mm-hmm. just as effective. It just avoids going for your kidneys that's all so are you familiar with that alan yes yeah 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 i think that i think you, your doc is a smart guy and, and 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 he ordered that up for me but then they couldn't find it anywhere so they just gave me the normal dose with one pill taken out of each blister pack or two pills taken out <laughs> of each blister pack so i got the light version behind me I and see. Okay. Right. <laughs> He's drinking. Right. Doc, I'm gonna drink some beer to knock it out. I I hate people who have fun with their with their green screens. Like, I yeah, would never. I would never. A lot would. of the things he posts for a green screen are just stupid. They're like you know four year old kids stuff. Yeah. How you doing, Vernon? Dick figures. Vernon. <laughs> are you, Vernon. You doing Talk okay? You you might be. I don't think you're muted, Vernon, but we can't hear you. Yeah. I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Go go into your uh, go into your uh, um, settings. Your ham op radio your, settings. Your, your, your setting on your Zoom. Your settings on Zoom, and that that'll help you get the audio out of there. Oh, maybe he doesn't have the right microphone chosen. Yeah, could th- do things like that. He seems to be in a different place tonight. Mm. Yeah, uh, but. Uh, how many of you come down with COVID? Any of you? Am I, I'm the, am I the only one? You you I got am. it, and you got it. Tony, you got it. Tony got it. I am perfect. You are perfect. Don't get don't get <laughs> snotty with me, Mister. <laughs> don't get snotty with me because that's the way I, we were. You know, we, oh, we that's never, the way you started. We didn't get COVID. We're we're you know, we got it the same the same day. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. What what do you mean you got it the same day, Jeff? You, you and I both got the original. Uh, oh, the shot. Medication. The medication. Oh, the shot. Yeah, yeah but the not first COVID. day. Yeah. But uh, this Paxlovid. Plus, we were seniors. But this Paxlovid is supposedly also very good for people who've just not been vaccinated at all. I think I got it within a couple of days of when Alex got it, and so did uh, Alan. Mm. And were you able to get those pills like the next day, Alex? Oh, you're talking yeah. about the shot, Phil. I'm like, yeah. I didn't get COVID. No, no, no. We got the shot. That's what yeah, the shot. Jeff, yes. Jeff was saying he didn't get COVID either, but right. he yeah. got the shot early on. Bree, how how easy is it to get the vaccine in Malaysia? Pretty easy. 
Yeah. yeah. I had the two of the Sinovax and my booster was Pfizer. Okay. And uh, you can get a test kit for 50 cents at the corner store. Mm. Yeah, I saw yeah, yeah. the you Chinese. Know how, much, how much they charge for them here at the local store? $21 for two. $24. No, you're kidding. $24. Yeah. 50 cents. COVIDtest.com, the U.S. Mm. government. Oh, the free site, they'll, they'll send them to you for free. I know. I got those for free. I, but well, I know, but you're not paying $21. Uh, I think you can get more now. They'll send you another or per my, household. My, per my health provider will send me eight tests per month. Yeah, really. Oh, Plus, okay. if I go to the pharmacy, any pharmacy in California, just ask for one; okay. they'll give you one. Everybody's sitting out. Oh yes, uh, everybody's sitting out there right now, going. Uh, but there's an important story out but, there, and you're not talking about it. Oh. It's for all guys. Yeah. Huh? Still pregnant? That, that there, were, that there was a trial balloon <laughs> what, last month, so yeah. that everybody could get all their you know vent everything so the 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 media has gone through that cycle oh they're going through um, it again right now here they they, yeah. they 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 have gone nuts you know uh it, it, it's funny i find that i tell you what i watched today i watched nbc news okay. not msnbc but nbc okay. news with lester holt and a few other people and they were doing the unbiased version okay, okay. They were doing the one where they were interviewing both sides, and uh, they were doing a very balanced uh, job of it. And I enjoyed watching that more than going over to MSNBC, where I could predict what was going on over to MSNBC. Or I could the end of the world what, as we know it. I could predict what was going on over at Fox. You know, uh, so I mean, it was it was not uh, it was not wonderful uh, what was going on over at Fox or at MSNBC. But anyway, so uh, nice choo -choo. you know, I think uh, I think the ramifications of this is it's going to help the Democrats come November because it's going to it's going to it make people want to vote for a candidate. Women, especially. Huh? Women, especially. 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 But, you know, you don't think that the people that are protesting and guys who want to get laid. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You don't think that the people that are protesting are out there in the streets right now are just youngsters, uh, high school kids, and they'll come out for any sort of protest. No, I think uh, they're out there because they're of an age where they are reproductive, extremely fertile and reproductive, and are worried about what the ramifications are of this. I believe it. You know, yes, they're younger, but I mean, you're not gonna find women going through menopause who are gonna be out there protesting on the Oh streets. yeah, you are. They're out there too. Well, I know they're out there, but not in the kind of numbers that you are young, younger kids. Well, the ones that I've dated in, in the last few years, several years uh, are going through menopause. <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have Better. all kinds of teenagers. Bree, what were you gonna say, Bree? Yeah, I mean, had his I, Oh. oh, Vernon, go ahead, please. Well, I have a daughter who's 36 years old, and she's scared to death now that the next challenge brought before the Supreme Court is so going scary. to involve contraception control. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Didn't they specifically say that contraceptives were not part of this? No. Yes, but, but look at what Justice Thomas said in right. his concurrence. He's going to go after Griswold. He's going to go marriage. after Lawrence. Mm -hmm. He's going to go after this, okay? Well, guess what? He's he's a, the biggest hypocrite of all because one of the things that he probably would go <laughs> after is Loving versus Virginia, which which uh, outlawed the ban on interracial marriage. How, how come how, how how can he go after something if there isn't a case brought before him? That's what I'm saying. This is a long term project. He's basically saying, bring it on. We'll, we'll take it all back. We'll, we'll take the country back to politically the for the last nine. thirty years. This Roe v. Wade is a culmination of a political project that's been well-funded, well-organized, and this is what its intent was. But what do you think? You think they're gonna stop now that they've overturned Roe v. Wade? No, they're gonna go after other rights that they don't think are in the Constitution. Kind of like gun rights. Gay, like gay gun marriage rights. will be next, unfortunately. Gay marriage is one of them. You know, I, I understand exactly what you're saying because the Second Amendment people are saying the same thing. If there's any, if there's one little chink in the armor, then they don't want 
uh, they're not going to support it. And it's the same thing with the Roe but v. bullshit, Wade. Phil, That's because well, on your bill and it's bullshit. You're going well, for I, the argument if you're not willing to give up something that makes a little bit of an inconvenience for you to have the guns that make you feel better about your small penis size, then, you know, all these other kids should die because, you know, it makes it so inconvenient for you no, to be no, able to I, go. What, get I'm not gun. talking about the, the ruling itself. I'm talking about the, the fact that uh, the NRA, for instance, doesn't want any uh, gun legislation that will weaken gun rights and the people does it on the other gun side rights when there's still Roe versus, the people on the other side for Roe versus Wade don't want to give up any rights because they feel Phil, that Phil that's right there in the second in the second amendment it says well regulated well, and you yeah, keep on yeah. forgetting about that that well regulated maybe there should be better background checks maybe there should be checks and balances on how many rounds you can have in your magazine and after we saw what went on in, in Texas a few weeks ago there's hardly no such thing as a well-regulated the only, militia the there. The only difference is that Roe versus Wade was not a constitutional amendment, but the Second Amendment is. So that, let, let, me go, right. let me go there. Because what about the 14th here's, Amendment, Phil? The no, 14th 13th. Amendment oh, guarantees 13th. life, liberty for everybody. So, yeah, and including the babies. No, no a not baby babies. is not defined. Including, including the babies that are being killed and the thrown into the garbage. The are not defined in the law. That's Wait going to be the next thing the Republicans go after is a fetal, is a fetal did, law. Fetal did, you hear, did you hear, fetal Phil? Did you hear, law. Phil? Tell me the, the last time you heard of a baby being dumped in a dumpster. Well, what was left after they uh, were selling the parts. No, uh, that's at, not at, how uh, they get rid of that. That is considered that it, it, what's left after all of that mm -hmm. is, in fact, what they consider materials that are hazardous and that they have to be disposed oh, of in a hazardous way. No, they don't. So, I, Phil, I, I have to make an argument. I think like Charlie Wallace has tried making it on here a few times, but I don't think he's ever really gone in depth on it. That's because it's he's actually, always yelling. It's actually, yeah, Charlie Wallace yells. <laughs> um, the 13th mm -hmm. Amendment, which actually got rid of slavery and in, uh, involuntary servitude involuntary servitude let's look at what the definition of an unwanted pregnancy is an unwanted pregnancy is actually a parasite growing inside of a human body if it's wanted it's a symbiotic relationship but according to scientific definition if it's unwanted it's a parasite so a woman does not have the same rights as everybody else to involuntary servitude. Now the government is trying to say that you have to go through and give birth to this parasite. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not a parasite. It's it like is a parasite, Phil. Like if it is Vietnam unwanted. War, which you're too young to remember. I've, I, I've, met, I met, some, I've met some people's kids and they are parasites. There's no question <laughs> in my mind about it. If it's unwanted, it's a parasite. It's a foreign life form growing inside your body, taking yeah. away from your but, own nutrition okay, and okay, taking okay, away. I'll, I'll, it's I'll, a life. Phil, Phil, Phil. Phil. Uh, oh, hold on. So is a spider that bore a fly that bores under your skin and plants its egg. No. That's a life form. You should that's have to give birth to that too. During during the uh, during Vietnam, they they called Vietnamese zipperheads and gooks and all types of things to try and try and dehumanize what, what, them. What, but, wait a minute, what, what does that have to do with this? It, Phil? It, well, because if you call the baby a parasite, that's just another way. It, of it's a scientific to dehumanize. definition. Yeah, scientific, scientific definition. Let me, let me, parasite. Let me, it, 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 is, don't believe it's baby. Not, okay, sure, let's but, let's defer to a couple other people here. Right. First of all, Bree, Bree, Bree had his hand up earlier. You, do you I remember what you were, what you wanted to say, I Bree? Pee. I completely forgot. Um, <laughs> by the way, it's um, good to have you back here. I want to say that. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, how, how, is there a reaction? Is there a right reaction at all in Malaysia to what happened today in the United States? Not really. I mean, uh, I haven't heard it. Um, I'll, I'll have to. Is you know, abortion legal today. in Malaysia? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I'd have to look it up. I, I think um, I think you can get one and I, I just don't know, maybe Singapore. Uh, I, I'd have to look it up. I'm sorry. I don't know the, yeah, you know, the ins and outs of that. I, that that's not something <laughs> that's something I had to deal with. I, I don't think they would have it in the Philippines, but I, but I, but you could get it. You know, in a lot of countries, I was going to make this point, I guess. Um, what the elites do kind of doesn't really matter so much. Like, 
Now, on a day-to-day basis, most Malaysians don't really, they wouldn't talk as much. We talk a lot more about, you know, our Supreme, in while you're in the U.S., about the Supreme Court and what Biden does. And But on a daily basis, I don't hear what the leader does in Malaysia. It's just, everybody's just sort of doing their own thing. And they're just kind of chill about, this is how we live our life and this is how we go about our life. Mm-hmm. And they don't get caught up in it. And I think it's also because the media uh, is not as, um, you know, commercialistically uh, operating here, you know, they, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't try to drum up more eyeballs by creating crazy headlines. Like, you know, so yeah, yeah. Uh, that has a lot to do with it. There, there's a lot more of just a sort of a, uh, you know, regular conversation about things, right. I think. That's why it's a little to be here and to hear you guys going at it again after a year when I've sort of taken off. It's just Re, it, never know, it's like it never stopped. It never stopped. When you're not here, <laughs> okay. it stops a lot. Bill. <laughs> you know, yeah, the in doctor, the Philippines, the it's the same way. Told, the, do- the doctors told Phil's parents we did everything we could, but he came through anyhow. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, um, true. Matt, how do you feel about today's decision? Uh, well, of course it sucks, but one thing, I, I, it's just clear that the impact of Trump is going to be with us for the rest of our lives from mm-hmm. his bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Uh, you know, I saw I, 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 I saw a young girl on, uh, on, and I call her a girl because I think she was, she was just turned like 18 or something. And on, as a, a, one of the people they interviewed in the crowd in front of the uh, Supreme Court, and she just said, this is a sad day for me because I realize that I don't live in the America I believed I lived in. Mm. She said, it doesn't represent me. It doesn't care about me. And uh, this is a decision made basically by a bunch of men and one woman. Old men. Old men. Well, they're not that old. But that, that, you know, that she feels that uh, all her life she's had this right if she needed it. And uh, she doesn't. Uh, she doesn't uh, need it any longer. I'll be right back. Yeah. Don't send. By the way, Bree, don't send messages like that oh, because right. it shows up on the screen, which goes out oh. over the air. And uh, okay. it just, right. but, uh, just so you know. Um, but uh, you know, she was. I, I felt so bad for her because she felt this country has let me down. This is not the country I I believed in, and she was very disappointed in in her country as it were and and i think everybody should be disappointed today i think what happened with this supreme court they could have made other judgments you know they could have come out with other other verdicts that still would have somehow preserved some of roe while others wouldn't but they're like opening it up to states just saying hey it's not if you if you get if you get raped if you get incest if incest if you get you know too bad, too bad for you. You can't get love, an abortion. There, there's a guy I work with. He's a big right winger, and you know, he even came out and said he's like, I don't know why Republicans are so against abortion. It's like you know, all you're opening up for is to make that welfare bill go up. Yeah. Well, also, I mean, Phil, how would you feel about it? You have a da- two daughters, actually. If one of your daughters was raped, okay. And, and this is not a hypothetical, but I mean, I'm asking the question. One of your daughters got raped and then uh, turned up pregnant. Would you want her to have that baby by that kind of situation? Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, so. I, I believe that, uh, uh, that uh, abortion for rape, incest. Uh, health of the uh, mother. Health of the mother yeah. is absolutely. But you know, uh, you do know that in the Texas law, that's not permitted. Well, because in Texas, they like that kind of population. They they vote Democratic. But Phil, aren't you also what? for the exception of when it actually infects you? Because didn't no. you actually admit no, that I, you had I, to I would, pay for I, abortion? No, no. I I would support that. Uh, reg- whether it was for me or somebody else's daughter, uh, I, I believe that uh, uh, I, I'm not for s- a selective 
uh, uh, birth. For instance, some people, uh, if they get uh, these uh, amios and not amios, they, they get these uh, things where they can tell if it's a boy or a girl. And uh, are you their know, kids some, severely some, retarded and going to well, need severely help for the rest retarded, of their life? Severely <laughs> retarded. I don't know that their life should be ended for that. Uh, you know, they they might die anyway. Well, but well, wait a Phil, did you say wait, that you actually paid for abortions throughout your life? Uh, when I was very young, yeah. So you shouldn't have had that right to be able to do that, right? Well, I did then, but we don't now. <laughs> uh, uh, Bree had, had his hand up. Bree, I, I just want to clarify. I looked it up that Malaysia uh, has in in those instances that that you discuss. Uh, they, they they would allow, but but as a general rule, no, they don't allow it. Uh, but Singapore does. So but Singapore to, does. That's well, California yeah. still Crazy. does. So this new Supreme Court thing isn't going to affect California at all. No, it's not going to affect New York either, except nope. for the fact that we're going to get an influx of people rushing here to get get abortions, uh, and uh, that could put a little bit of a strain on the state, you know. Yep. People, the people that they interviewed on CNN today, who are who are happy about this, they're very dismissive of, of the people impacted. They're like, well, they can just get an abortion. They can just um, they can just give it up for adoption. You know, just have it. You know, so they have to take nine months out of their life. You know, because it's, it's well, no, but there's, there's more to it than that. I mean, they, they, I've heard some of those people saying, well, you know, I mean, we should be supportive of these people and make sure they get all the things they need to make life easy for them <laughs> and having these babies. Yeah. And they're just they're just they're just opening their mouth for the sake of opening mm. their mouths because are they willing to pull money out of their pocket to yeah, do yeah. it? So these are the people who are pro welfare. And Vernon's not in his head now. Yeah, I, I you know, wait, 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 they, let, they let only Vernon. care about the fetus. They only care about the fetus. Once it's born, you're on your own. That's yeah, it. With, yeah, with with Phil, that guy that raped his daughter, better go crawl under a rock or somewhere else because he will hunt them down and make the person sorry. with his gun. By the way, with his Absolutely. gun. Absolutely, <laughs> that's a good use of a gun. <laughs> hey, and I'd be right behind him. Absolutely. You know, but I mean, I I just I just um, uh, well, I'll tell you what happens is what's really good about the law they passed the day before on the guns, and then this on the on the on the uh, abortion is that uh, if there's a shotgun wedding it can be used yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that my cute. that's my my covid induced joke for today <laughs> that was good that was good yeah um but uh anyway so uh, anyway matt uh, were you saying, uh, saying the, uh, the, the the new gun law is, is it for all states that you no. can open carry now? Well, well, no, 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 no. This was a, a law in New York State. We had a very... Oh, just New York. We had a very no. tough gun law in New York called the Sullivan Law, which said that simply, if you had a... This was in New York City. If you had a gun, period, you could get a year in, in jail. And most people did. If you it, it, Automatic sentence, year in jail. The, the governor in New York said today... This, this new gun law doesn't affect New York, and that if anybody has got an illegal gun on them, they will be arrested. Uh, the, the actual thing that this does is it's, it's called a, a reasonable cause question in order to apply for CCW. So people say in New York, what's California- a, What's a CCW? Would you explain? Okay. Concealed weapons, weapons. weapons. Okay. Uh, uh, concealed weapons license. So anyway, uh, what happens is uh, when you go to the sheriff or the chief of police, you have to have good cause in New York, California, and four or five other states mm -hmm. in order to be issued a permit to carry concealed. So the good cause, there's never enough good cause in New York to, to have it. Most so of the time it's they because fell, they have a small penis. So they eliminated the good cause. <laughs> they eliminated the good cause issue through this particular let legislation uh and, and not they don't guarantee that you can carry a concealed weapon it, it it's being overturned as we speak that wouldn't anybody shouldn't get their panties in a knot right now it's going to go back to court i wouldn't go out rush out and start carrying a gun concealed in the state you're in i'd be really yeah. cautious for a while <clears throat> tell this uh, gets well i have to i have to say something a very interesting story today that 
uh, Walt Disney, the Walt, the Walt Disney Company, which has a, a huge amount of its employees, especially in Florida at Disney World, uh, mm -hmm. has said to its employees that if you need an abortion, they will pay for you to fly to another state. Yep. They will literally pay for your... Saw that in the news today. It's yeah. cheaper than maternity leave. Good Isn't that now. changed? Remember at Disney, if you worked for Disney, you had to be so straight-laced, you couldn't even wear a two-piece bathing suit. That, this has uh, nothing you know. to do with that, Phil. This has to do yeah, with Yeah, well, that's the way it was with, when this Walt Disney This was has to do with their social compact with their employees. I think it's just because it's cheaper than maternity leave. I think, <laughs> I think, <laughs> well, that, I think that's <laughs> true. Good, good for Disney. Come on. Yeah, they good. care more about and, their and there's several other companies, companies that are along. doing this too. But Disney was the only one that I saw immediately had had just <clears throat> first thing today. They just said anybody well, but wants an I abortion. I guess the most important question is what does Elon Musk think about this? Well, well uh, he had because, something to say <laughs> because he's he's all yeah. set to be ruling the planet pretty soon anyway. Well, he's got his robot army almost ready. Yeah. He mm -hmm. said, "Go to yeah. work, otherwise you're fired." <clears throat> Yeah, <laughs> um, I, mean, I have a theory that Elon's going to run autocracy. Hey, look who we got here, La ladies hey. and gentlemen. Damien Chaplin, host of the Exchange, has deemed to call my show. Holy mackerel! He wanted to see if you were really alive. Yeah, well, just barely. <laughs> Alex Minnis, still alive. <laughs> Hi, Damien. How you doing? I am well. How are you? Fine, fine too. So. So all I have to say is all these people who are saying this is not the America that I thought I was living in yeah, was not nice. paying attention. <laughs> that, this is the exact America that I thought I was living in. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, and that's where they're talking about where maybe next is going to be birth control and stuff that they might go after. They've already been letting it happen. Hobby Lobby doesn't have to pay for birth control because it's their religious belief. I thought God gave the individuals freedom, not your employer. The hobby? Uh, the, the, did they say Hobby Lobby yes. didn't have to pay for it? Was in their insurance that they supplied, they didn't have to uh, have coverage for for birth, uh, control, birth control because oh. it was against the owner's belief. The best oh. ar argument I heard this week was about these rights that were given to us by God. The constitutional rights were given to us by God. Okay. Well, those ten, president. those ten First Amendments were so good they've had to be amended seventeen more times, mm -hmm. and they said nothing about slavery until the Thirteenth Amendment. Well, here's the best thing: one of the uh, Supreme Court justices, I don't know which one, cited that the reason was that nowhere in the Constitution is the word abortion mentioned. Of course, they fail to remember that neither is the word woman. Yeah, <laughs> or car or electricity. Well, they can't define woman anyway, you know. Uh, why, why? Why do they or, hate uh, birth control or assault weapon? Why but, do they hate birth control if they don't like abortion? Well, they're against people having fun. <laughs> really, they're killjoys. These are the ultimate killjoys. They just want everybody to just breed twenty kids. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, not, I, it's just insane. Well, right prior, to Ronald, prior to Ronald Reagan, the Southern Baptist Convention was all in favor of legalized abortion. Then Ronald Reagan comes along and they did a 180. Really? I didn't know that. Hey, yeah. sometime mm -hmm. tonight, since Damien's on the show, can you talk about the jewel that was uh, the, that thing that he's smoking that Vape. was taken off the market? I think in New York uh, yesterday. No, no, country. The whole country. country. No, the entire country yesterday. I, I have not owned something that was outlawed since 1979 <laughs> when Mattel outlawed the Battlestar Galactica toy that shot the little the little red thing and some kid choked on it. And, you know, now I owned all these illegal toys. It, 1979, that's the last time I owned something that was like okay. literally out. Yeah, I, I know you, you guys were talking out, about now, something right? else, and I didn't want to change the thing, but uh, I, I was intrigued by that uh, uh, jewel thing uh, being uh, made illegal. But well, it's, it's not. It, it, well, it's only because jewel hasn't given the information that the FDA wants. The FDA has actually already approved two different vaping things. Um, the the views and I don't I don't remember what the other one is, um, but for some reason they've decided to like um, target Jewel, um, and and 
I, I don't know, taking it off the market because apparently none of these people have been to the to the corner store, the liquor store down the corner, where they ha- they still sell all these flavors, bubble gum and mango and all that kind of stuff. And guess what? It's not Jewel that's selling them, you know. Um, so I don't I don't understand why they're yeah. Why they're did they go after it? Jewel and not go after I, I the think, local I think corner Damien's store? Right. I think I heard it's marketing to kids. No, I no no no. I heard that Jewel had not provided them with the information they needed right. and wanted, which was... Uh, but sim- there's also, but there's only been two brands that the FDA has actually approved, and literally every single other brand that you see at the corner store has not been approved by the FDA. And why yeah. haven't they pulled that off the market? I mean, these, those are the ones that, I mean, Jewel, two years ago, Jewel pulled all of their flavors off the market voluntarily, and the only flavor that they even offer anymore is tobacco flavor. You know, um, they don't even offer menthol or anything. How do you but feel? Like- the corner store, you can see that they're still selling bubble gum and mango and, you know, every flavor, dragon fruit, every every flavor you can possibly imagine. And they're disposable. You know, you yeah. smoke it for a day and a half and you literally throw it in the garbage. Um, it's, it's just really Let horrible. Let me ask you this, though, Damien. How do you feel that has affected your, your tobacco ingestion? I mean, has it improved your your health or anything like that, or is it just it's a, just an easier, safer way for the people around you to do it? Well, I I, I still smoke, you know, actual cigarettes. Really? Um, I, I I just use this as for times when smoking is not appropriate, you know, um, and like if I'm sitting in front of my computer for an hour doing a podcast, you know, um, I'll sit here and use this because I'm not going to smoke inside. Um, so there are definitely times when I use it instead of smoking, mm-hmm. um, which is, I, for me, that's that's what I'm looking for. It's just something that I can use instead of smoking. Um, so, yes, it does help. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I was just wondering about that. Cause, and that's the other big news story that came out in the last 24 hours was this whole thing. thing I think Jewel. it's funny, Jules' logo, it looks like some... To me, it looks like some woman like leaning over you with saggy boobs, <laughs> with a J U U J. And now I can never see anything else. God damn you! <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, you, you can already now, now every time I look at my thing, I'm going to see saggy boobs. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> hey, you just suck and on I, it a little harder. The other thing I heard, New York, they did they uh, eliminate menthol cigarettes too? I think that's the country also. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're not going to be able to get your menthol cigars anymore, Phil. Uh, well, I haven't smoked a cigarette. Well, since you know these are all these are all health related situations, and and um, I I don't know that I disagree with them. Although I really think that I would rather see what we've been doing all along, which is making smoking kind of déclassé and giving people a reason to quit based on oh, say social pressure. As it were. Honestly, I've been saying for like 25, 30 years now, I just wish that they would ban cigarettes, just ban tobacco products. You know, that would just make it so much easier for all of us to quit. You know, but now, you know, they introduce these electronic cigarettes and we're like, hey, cool, this is cool. We start using them. No, that's banned. You know, and all I can say is, you know, dear Mr. Government, do you want me to continue smoking? Because that's what you're doing. You're pushing me towards smoking instead of well, an I, alternative. They can tax I, it, yeah. Yeah, I love the way in New York they're trying to keep us from smoking. They have these people on with stomas, you know, the, the hole in their neck, and, oh, sm- and, and, and you can't do this, and, and then and people who are deformed from smoking cigarettes and so on, you don't want this mm-hmm. to happen to you. And mm-hmm. I'm, I'm watching these ads and I'm going, God, if I were still smoking, I'd want to have a cigarette real fast because this is making me nervous, you know. Uh, I just don't think that's the way to get people to quit. I think the best way yeah. to make people... The reason that's I called... quit was because there was no place I could smoke anymore. So your, I just said, reaction. to hell with it, I'll just not smoke. Your reaction is called third-person perception. Um, and it's it's been studied since, I mean, many, many years. In high school, they made us watch drunk driving videos well, yeah, yeah. and everybody would go out of them and say boy that's really terrible for them but that would never happen to me 
And, yeah. you know, well, most so. people who smoke don't think they're ever going to get cancer. And they'll give you a statistic that only, you know, X number percentage of people ever get lung cancer from smoking. Mm -hmm. But they don't mention bladder cancer. They don't mention heart disease. They don't mention there. There are a lot of things that can get to you. And Most and, bladder cancers in this country are related to cigarette smoke. But I love telling the story that I went to a urologist and he found something where he wanted to go do a uro, uh, cystoscopy on me. And, uh, and I, I said, uh, I, he said, uh, you know, you might have bladder cancer. And I said, well, why? He said, well, you, you smoked for 20 years and that's 40 pack years. That could cause, have caused you to have bladder cancer. And I said, you mean I quit? I said, I quit like 20 years ago, 25 years ago. He said, doesn't matter. I said, then maybe I shouldn't have ever quit. You know, what did I quit for? You know, give me a you little incentive. Menthol. What? You used to smoke menthol nah, cigarettes. Just for a short time. Because then you could have sounded like Lynn Samuels. Yeah, you know, right. earlier you asked how many people had COVID, and I think three had it on the show or two. Yeah. Maybe you ought to ask how many people's ever had a cystoscopy on the show. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. They're, there they're fun, and I'm not going to tell anybody what they are if you don't know, because you will sit there holding your crotch for the rest of the night. <laughs> you've, ex you've explained it before, I remember. Also, yeah. you'll find the endoscopy and the cystoscopy and the colonoscopy, can they all meet in the middle? You know, somewhere somewhere in this show, it always comes back to the penis, doesn't it? Uh, it always mm -hmm. comes back to ailments of the penis. Absolutely. Yeah. But, We've all got How's them. your health been, Damien? Good? Yeah, I mean, getting old. <laughs> How old? You know, I, I had a I, I, I had a week long ear infection, which was like I haven't had an ear infection since I was ten, you know, and so I had, you know, no adult experience with an ear infection, and God, that it was just the worst. I'm just now getting over it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I had I had three four days there where. It was just hell. And it throws you off too, doesn't it? Your balance well, and everything. Well, yeah, I mean, it just felt like the entire left side of my head was underwater at all times because my ear was plugged. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, it was just ugh, the worst. Boy. Um, well, anyway, well, certainly you know, good to I, see you here for that. This is, is the most I, the most I've seen Damien face to face in years. <laughs> in years, we we communicate by uh, by uh, text and so on, and that's it. You know, but good having you here, Damien. It's usually like I can't get on the server. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got. Some, only thing I hear from him is when he's got a problem. Anyway, Damien, great having you here. Terrific. I hope you do it again. You know. How's your mom, Damien? Oh, very good. I mean, if you want to hear what my, how my mom's doing? You can always tune into well, the Monday. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, <laughs> Monday the, the exchange at ten thirty. Uh, right, yep. here, right here on uh, mm -hmm. Gabnet. Yeah. Is that Eastern uh, Time? Ten thirty. Oh. Uh, excuse yeah. me. Excuse me. At nine thirty. Nine thirty Eastern. Yeah, nine thirty Eastern. Anyway, That's thank you, Damien. We'll be doing it. A, we'll be doing a ninety-minute show this this coming Monday. So we'll be starting at six Pacific, so nine nine Eastern. Okay, good. Be looking forward to it. And uh, and, then, and then I guess we're off for July fourth, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you want to take it off. Yeah, off. so because um, I'm yeah. I'm probably going to be out, out on the coast or something yeah. like that. So, yeah. and then I'll do another ninety minute show the, the week after. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Damian Chaplin and uh, Phil, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Jeff Stein, thank you. Alan, thank you. Bree, please call us more often. You know, we enjoy having you here. Uh, really, I'm serious. Okay, <laughs> you're just kind of going, yeah, well, maybe. Yeah. I guess. I, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Alex, we'll... let's see how you're feeling next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll be see fine. See if you're still alive. Tony. It's a little <laughs> under the weather right now. You know? Thank you. Thank if you're not you. feeling well, well, I'm calling you. State. <laughs> thank you, Tony. Thank you, uh, Jason. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Vernon, always great to see you here. And Damian Chaplin. Everybody, give yourself a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. As I uh, go to my ca as I go to camera one, okay. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. That's our show for this week. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back on Monday. I'll be back on Monday doing the uh, 
uh, the pop-up. That's easy enough to do. Then uh, Wednesday, we'll probably be back at 10.30 uh, if we're feeling up to par. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Bye.